Alrighty, we are going to get started prepping the chicken. This is the night before. We are going to marinate the chicken in the buttermilk. Now I am just going to make two large pieces. That's going to make four sandwiches. You make as many as you need for your family. Or let's start with this. Okay, I like to clean up the chicken, get off as much fat as you can. And I am using chicken breast. You can use chicken thighs if you prefer. So we're going to cut the chicken in half. And what we're going to do is we're going to pound this out or we're going to butterfly this piece just so that it won't be so big. Same thing with this one. Okay, we are going to take a uh, plastic bag or put two pieces of saran wrap, whatever you have, and we're going to tenderize this. And this way they all will be the same size. And when we go to fry them, they cook at the same time. wash my hands. Okay, now the next step, we are going to use some buttermilk. And to the buttermilk, we're going to add one clove of garlic. We are going to add probably a half of this shallot. Okay, and then we're going to add the spiciness, I'm going to add a chile serrano. You can add a chile jalapeno if you like. If you don't want it spicy, just leave it out. Seeds and all, because that's what gives it more spice. Okay, and then we are going to add some salt, some lemon pepper, and some Creole seasoning. And this is going to give this chicken so much flavor. Okay, so then we're going to give this a little stir. And we're going to put in our chicken. Just make sure that it's all covered up. And I am going to leave mine overnight, but you need to let it sit in the refrigerator for at least six hours. So if you're going to do it for dinner, put it in the morning and then just let it hang out in the fridge you know, all day, and you should be good. But I'm going to leave mine overnight. I will be back tomorrow. We will finish this recipe up. Okay, we took, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator about a half an hour ago, just so that it's not, you know, really, really cold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out of the buttermilk and lay it in a plate here. We're just going to set this aside for one minute so we get the flour ready for this. Now, the flour, we are going to season it exactly like we did the buttermilk, okay? So we're going to have our lemon pepper, our Cajun spice, our salt, but I also am going to add some baking powder. Okay, give this a good mix. Okay, so now we are going to, since they just came out of the buttermilk, we're going to dredge them right into the flour and coat them real well. And the secret to this is that we are going to double bread them. Okay, so we're going to go directly back into the buttermilk here and back into the flour. And we already have our oil warming up to 350 degrees. Okay, so we take our second piece and dredge it. Back into the buttermilk. Back into the flour. Okay, we're going to 
to start to fry these. I have my temperature at 345 degrees more or less. So I'm going to just do one at a time since my pot is kind of small. And you're going to fry these for about 12 to 15 minutes. It is white meat so it will cook faster. I like to give them plenty of room. You have a bigger Dutch oven. I do, but I just didn't feel like putting it out. So I'm just going to do one at a time. And then I will place them in the oven and keep them warm until we're ready to use them. was the last piece. I am toasting up the buns right now so we can get these plated and I'm going to pop y'all back over to the counter. Okay guys everything is out and ready. This looks scrumptious. Look at these buns. I toasted them just a little bit and we are going to prep them. The way I like to serve them is a little bit of mayonnaise. You can season your mayonnaise if you like but since the chicken has so much flavor I do not want to take away from that. So I'm going to put some mayonnaise on both sides of the bun and then we are going to put our, look at this, perfect. And then you layer it however you like. I am going to put some pickles, pickles and this chicken sandwich just go perfect together. I am going to put some purple onion. A big fat slice of tomato and some lettuce. Look at that. And there we go. Look at that. Yummy. Who wouldn't want to come home to something like that? Okay, let's go ahead and give this guy a bite. Let's go ahead and give this burger a try. It looks delicious. Mmm. 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 Okay, everybody. This is the best chicken burger I have ever had. The crunchiness. I wish you could hear the crunchiness of this chicken and it's so moist, it's not dried out, it's perfect. I will leave all the ingredients listed below, guys. The recipe, if you have any questions, drop me a comment, I will get back with you. Don't forget to hit a like, that sure really helps us out here on the channel, guys, and share with family and friends. Okay, that's gonna do it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to y'all later, bye. Mm-mm.